If you've been following the channel, I literally have covered a lot of things you can do with just the Apple Watch. Everything from its integrated features, some awesome third-party apps to download, and some amazing accessories that really do allow you to utilize and use the Apple Watch at its full potential. But since this is a new year, we're still like three months in 2022, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and share the best applications that I personally use day to day. This includes native apps from Apple and some awesome third party apps that I still use. So if you just picked up an Apple Watch or you're curious what type of apps I use on a daily basis, I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about my 10 most useful apps that I use on my Apple Watch. Let's go ahead and get started. Now in terms of weather app, I personally prefer using Carrot. It's a third party weather app that gives you a lot more information than the native weather app that Apple provides us because this actually has a humorous twist. If you actually have a watch face like right here, like my infograph, you can actually use this as a complication and it actually gives you a lot of data, everything from the low, high and the current temperature. So if you want to get a good laugh when you look at the weather, Carrot might actually roast you without you even realizing. So that's one, one of the key features why I like this app from all the others. And to the most part, the accuracy is always on point and it has been featured in New York Times, Good Morning America, CNN, and much more. And it doesn't bombard you with ads or anything like that. And it has other complications too. Now for the third app, I still use Shazam. Not only because, yes, Siri can identify music too, but you have to verbally request Siri to do this. I personally prefer having Shazam as a complication. Whenever I'm at a mall, shopping center, I guess the same thing as a mall, inside somebody's vehicle, instead of just toggling Siri and verbally request to identify the song, I could just simply tap on it. It will automatically start searching, listening, and We'll send that information as soon as it discovers a song to your iPhone so you can add it to your playlist later on. It just works extremely well. For number four, another native app is the camera app itself. When you launch the app, it is somewhat buggy at times now. I notice whenever it, you launch it and it's just black, what I like to do is just hold down the power button until you get to the screen and hold down the digital crown. This will force reset the app. And whenever I launch it the second time, it just it eliminates that bug. So it will automatically launch the camera app on your iPhone. And you basically, you use the screen of your Apple Watch as the viewfinder. So if you're trying to get a group photo or record something while you're working out, that's how I typically like to utilize this. Rotate the digital crown to switch between the different lens. If your camera has like three lens like mine does, that's how you can switch from the wide to the ultra wide by just using the digital crown. Just unfortunately to switch to video to photo, you have to manually hold, pick up your phone and switch it manually here, but it'll automatically update on the viewfinder on your Apple Watch. Now, Just Record is another great app to have, and primarily as a watch face complication because you literally just press and real, it'll automatically start recording. If you're looking for a very convenient recording app that's better than the native voice memo app, just press record, you literally press and it'll record. So it's a lot quicker than having to use the voice memo app, which isn't bad either, but I prefer using this because it's literally just press record. Now, if you're looking for a battery app that allows you to see the battery life on your iPhone, but in addition to that, even your iPad, this is the battery app you want to have you want to go ahead and install on your device so here you can actually monitor all your other apple devices so long as the app is installed on that app you can monitor all that on your apple watch so instead of knowing when your battery is low on your iphone you will also be able to see the battery life on your ipad as an our example so it has that capability now the apple watch series 7 like this one does have a dedicated keyboard whenever you're replying to text messages. Now the keyboard is only exclusive to the Series 7 due to the larger screen real estate. But flick type, if you have an older Apple Watch, this will give those older Apple Watch the ability to also have a keyboard. By simply launching the app, you have access to a full keyboard, you can type in your message, and then once you're about to send, you can select the text message app, iMessage basically and send that message to whoever. So a great app if you want a keyboard and don't want to use scribbles or verbally talk to to reply to a text message via dictation. Now with the latest firmware update of watchOS, this gave us the ability to share custom watch faces to friends, family and such if you just send it to them directly from your contacts or create a unique link. Now 
Watch Facely is a community third party app that allows many other users to create custom watch faces. So if you want to see a library and see what new look you might like or a clean layout that works for your complications that you may want to try, this is a great community driven app that basically allows you to download these basically created watch faces for your Apple Watch. It's free to download, highly recommend. So it's kind of like a wallpaper theme type of thing like on our iPhones, but this is for your Apple Watch. Now the next app is another dedicated app on our Apple Watch and iPhone. And that is the native podcast app. What a lot of people don't know about this app is if you listen to a lot of podcasts like I do, if you actually launch the watch app on your iPhone and go into the podcast, you can actually download and install those podcasts on the Apple Watch itself. So if you want to leave your phone behind where you go for an outdoor walk or something like that, instead of being tethered to Wi-Fi, if you don't have LTE, cellular connectivity on your Apple Watch, you can actually directly install that podcast episode onto the Apple Watch like this. It's really easy, super convenient. Now, if you're looking for a quick gaming app, Mini Chess is actually a really fun game to play on your Apple Watch. And if you're looking for something with like a three-dimensional twist, uh, there is Minekeeper, the lurking beat. This game actually is like, here, look at this gameplay footage. It's like an escape room type of a game. The objective is just to collect keys and make it to the next level, that's it. But the fact that it actually looks three-dimensional makes this into one of the best looking Apple Watch games available on the Apple Watch that you can play off your wrist. There you guys have it. Hope you got some good useful information out of this video. If you did, you know what to do. Really appreciate it if you guys leave this video a like as those help me out a lot. And get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. If you'd like to catch me live, I do stream on the weekends on Twitch, which I'll include the URL in the video description down below. Follow me there, come hang out. If you're curious how you can log on to your Facebook, Instagram, and monitor all that stuff on your Apple Watch on the go, you can go ahead and watch that video over there as I show you an awesome some creative way you could utilize innovated Safari web browser with WebKit. And in that video over there, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch y'all in the next one. See ya.